Hello, all my fellow barbecue enthusiasts. Mike Baker here of Baker's Barbecue. Hey, I want to start off by saying Happy New Year to each and every one of you. And hopefully 2021 will be tons better than 2020. Hey, to bring in the new year here at the Baker household, what we're going to do is fire up the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco. And we're going to do some baby back ribs hanging on the hooks directly over the fire. So I hope you enjoy the video. And when we get done, go to Facebook, look up Baker's Barbecue Group, and join the group. First thing I want to do is just go ahead and show you once again uh, the charcoal pan. As you can see, it holds about, uh, it says eight pounds of charcoal according to the uh, Oklahoma Joe's Bronco uh, instruction guide. I think I've gotten closer to probably nine pounds, maybe 10, I don't know, somewhere in that range. But I packed them in, as you can see, I've got them in a sort of formation that will help them get longevity. And uh, get ready to place this down in the Oklahoma Joe's, and then we'll get ready to get it fired up. Okay, we're getting ready to get this uh, charcoal lit up. Just wanted to share with you real quick, since I bought the Oklahoma Joe's smoker, I went ahead and purchased some of the uh, accessories to go with it. The fire starters I've purchased, and then the, the last couple times I've used it, uh, it worked out really good. So you just simply take them, put one down in the charcoal pan, like that, move a few of the charcoals out of the way, and once you light it, you'll put them back on top. And the plan here is, since this lighting on this one side, would be for it to slowly start cooking its way, or slowly start burning its way across throughout the day as you have your cook going, and it gives you longevity to your uh, charcoal pan. So let's get this thing lit up. And there we go. Now we're just gonna adjust our dampers and get it going. going outside and I just got done getting the ribs all ready to go so I'll give you a quick glance at those and here shortly we're going to get them hanging the ribs we're going to put on today they are a rack of baby back ribs I got them shook down in local favorite strawberry shake and then also some sucker busters uh, pork and rib rub and I use Italian dressing as my binder so we're going to have these hanging today as you can see by the hooks and looking forward to getting them out there. Get right, them so just now getting my ribs put in there. Uh, got a good smoke going, as you can see. And uh, we're gonna let these things go for probably about two hours. And I'll check them again in two hours and probably start doing hey, some I just wanted to share a few thoughts with you. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, my followers on Facebook, on Baker's Barbecue Group, uh, and then also in some of the comments here uh, through YouTube and other social media. I've had a few people ask, hey, you know, uh, Mike, why, why do you put, you know, eight to eight to 10 pounds of charcoal in the charcoal pan uh, if all you're doing is ribs and you don't need near that much charcoal? My philosophy is I would much rather have more than enough fuel uh, that I can control uh, throughout the day, throughout the cook, and not have to tear my smoker all down uh, and add more fuel to it, especially in the Oklahoma, Oklahoma Joe's Bronco like we have today we're cooking in. So I would rather go with way more fuel. Uh, worst case scenario, when I'm done smoking, I just shut the dampers down. It, die, it kills the, uh, the fire out. And the next time I come out to build my fire, I'll clean out my uh, charcoal pan and take the charcoal that's left in the pan out, build me a new fire. And then a lot of times I just pour that charcoal from the previous cook back on top of the, uh, the new pan. So that's, that's why I do that. Uh, I feel like it gives me a lot more control uh, over the temperature and the longevity. There's so many variables that can go wrong throughout a, throughout a smoke that uh, you know, I'd much rather have, I guess, overkill. And that's, that's my philosophy with it, and uh, I welcome other people's feedback on okay, that. We've had the ribs on for approximately an hour. Smokers are about 264. As you can see, my damper is at about the one on the uh, intake, and the exhaust is still wide open. I am just adjusted this down a little bit. I want to get it, the temperature more back into the 245-ish, 250 range. Uh, so that's what I'm doing is damping it back. So been on about an hour. We're going to wait one more hour, and then we'll come out and we'll check them and probably start spritzing with apple juice. All right, 
So we are at the two hour mark uh, on the ribs. And so we're gonna go over, we're gonna check them and uh, spring them with a little bit of apple juice and see how the bark is doing and uh, determine then how much longer we think we'll go uh, before we possibly be looking at wrapping uh, the ribs up. So let's take Very a quick long, look. very nice. Uh, temperature still riding about the 260 something. Uh, damp this back down just a little bit more. And uh, we're gonna take a quick look at these ribs. Oh yeah, they're looking really, really good. I'm not sure how well you can see in there, but we're gonna get some spritz going on these things. Looking really, really nice. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna close this back down. We're gonna go for another hour, and then we'll come back out and we will we'll check them again. Actually pulled in the garage. Uh, it's kind of cold, nasty outside, but I have doors in the front and in the back of my garage. So I get a great air circulation through here, uh, which is good. So I can set it up, smoke blows right out of here. Not a problem at all, but you know, I always like to say nothing more beautiful than a smoker purring, smoke coming out of it and delicious barbecue inside, just waiting for the family to enjoy. Here we are at the three hour mark. Uh, temperature's down there about 244. Still got the damper set at about the one, somewhere in that range. I may adjust this up slightly here shortly. That's still wide open at the top damper. Uh, and and our, our uh, Oklahoma Joe's thermostat is off. So uh, I've learned not to trust that one very much. We're gonna open this thing up, take a look. Oh yeah, they're looking really, really good. Let's get these things spritzed down. So I think I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap these up in some uh, butcher paper or foil, still thinking it through. Uh, probably go with butcher paper. And uh, I'm going to get it wrapped up and we'll get them back on. All right, getting ready to wrap the ribs up here uh, in butcher paper. I went ahead and added a little bit more Suckle Buster's hog rub on there, spritzed it down with a little bit of apple juice. And now I'm going to get the uh, ribs wrapped up and back on. We got the ribs wrapped up in butcher paper and back on and we're going to shut it down for about another two hours and then we'll come back and we'll open them up and put them back on direct for about another 30 minutes or so. Right about the five hour and 15 mark. I've decided I'm not going to open these back up and put them back on unwrapped because I did not uh, put any sauce or uh, any butter or brown sugar, nothing like that. Uh, family decided tonight they wanted this dry rub. So I'm gonna take them off and we're gonna let them rest probably for about an hour and then we'll cut into them and see how they look. All right, looking good. I had to wrap the end right here after I wrapped them in the butcher paper, I noticed that there was a spot that had punctured. So uh, just so you know, if you ever see that when you're wrapping your ribs, make sure you cover that back up. You don't want those little sections to dry out on you. So we're gonna take these in and uh, set them up and uh, we'll cut into them in about an hour or so. guys we've got the ribs off all total them at five hours and 15 minutes somewhere around the 250 degree mark uh, get them all sliced up and get ready to take that first bite so we try it out I'm gonna grab one right here in the center we kind of eyeball this little joker right here all right look at that oh man I'm telling you Cooking ribs, there's nothing better. And you just take that time, let, them, let, them, let the fire do its work, and turn out to where they're just absolutely beautiful. Mm. Wow, those are good. All right, so if you enjoyed the video today, like, share, and subscribe. 
and we'll see you soon. Happy smoking.